so faithful, so vigilant, my own. He can break it. The Pharaoh. Let's see. Welcome everyone to another movie reaction. My name is Jeroen, better known as Touch Barn Fan, and as always, I am rejoined by my girlfriend, Lirit. Hi! <laughs> Today we are watching 1977's The Spy Who Loved Me. And this is one I'm really excited about because is there, if there is ever a classic Bond movie to finally get you to really like it again, I put all <laughs> my money on this one. Next to Goldfinger. Yeah, Goldfinger, well it's kind of the same premise as Goldfinger because it's really a typical James Bond film you're about to watch, that's my opinion at least, so I just hope you will uh, you will like it more. What are your hopes for the movie? You've seen two Roger Moore movies yes. so far. Obviously he's returning for the, the third time now. Yes. Because he's doing seven. Uh, what are your hopes? Um, that there is like a really good Bond girl. Uh, yeah, you, you fought those female characters so far in Diamonds and Live and Let Die, The Man Who Called the Gun. They all weren't really strong female characters. They weren't his equal. Uh, you're looking more for something like that, right? Uh, I'm looking like um, the latest movies from Daniel Craig. Right. That kind of Bond girl. So I hope it's in this movie. Okay. And you said loved or loves? The spy who loved me. So past. it's in the, in in the, the past. past. Yeah. So it's like in the point of view of a woman. The original title was, um, you are correct, the original title was written uh, by Ian Fleming obviously and, and from the point of view from a female uh, and she previously so, met Bond but this book is not a faithful adaptation because he uh, was kind of ashamed of this book so all he did was give the title to the filmmakers but okay. they could not use the material. So it's not uh, as uh, part two of the other one where he got married? No, no. Oh. Though that is mentioned in this one but just briefly. Um, but oh, you just you just mentioned you were also hoping for more action, yes. Um, more uh, more strong female characters, more in the line of what you see today. So mm -hmm. it, you you want it to be like you, your favorite is Wei Lin, for example. You want to see something more along those lines. Yes, that she's like climbing on a motorcycle and they're going to <laughs> in the city. Right. That kind of stuff and she has her own layer. <laughs> right. I have good faith that in terms of action, Bond girls, villains, story, you are going to like this a lot more than the previous Roger Moore movies. Um, I got all my money on this one. If you are also interested in seeing Lirit's full-length reaction to <laughs> The Spy You Love Me, you can of course join me on my Patreon page and see the whole thing there, synchronized with your own copy of the movie, uh, as well as all the other ones we recorded so far. And uh, yeah. Well, but it's in 19 what? 60? 77. 77, so I'm not like criticizing like the last few movies because I was watching in the point of view of now. Yeah, try and go I'm put yourself go. into the frame of then. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so let's okay. see if she's going to enjoy Spy You Love Me. Here we go. <laughs> it's quite different. Right? Yeah, I like this version. You know, spoiler, each gun barrel is different. Mm -hmm. 
can smoke in the submarine? It's the 70s, right? What the hell's going on, Eddie? Emergency stations, emergency stations. What's happening? Total loss of power on all sonar sets. So they're going to sink? Well, technically, they are already underwater. Yeah, but. <laughs> Actually, we're gonna get up. We gotta get around. Oh my god. Yeah, put him. Russia. He's also a red phone. <laughs> yep. So he's basically the Russian version of M, like from, from the KGB. Yes, of course, I'll assign our best agent immediately. Rubovich, where is Agent Triple X? On leave, General. Rubovich, get it? No. It's like money penny, only in Russian. Is that in Russian? They have rubles, right, instead of. Oh, yeah. As soon as my mission is accomplished. Who's this? You'll see. I must go. It's Russian agent, right? Oh, that's he. He's the 007 from Russia. X. Morning X. Triple X. X. We will report to headquarters immediately. Oh, she is. Yep. This is Triple X. Message received and understood. Money Penny? Yep. Call to his room. Money Penny? Where's 007? Well, tell him to pull out. Immediately. <laughs> Pull out. Morse or what? <laughs> From his watch. But James, I need you. So does England. Boyfriend of Triple X, remember the one in the bed? Oh, yes, he said I have to go to Austria. Yeah. He skied backwards as well. Such a badass. That's very. No, it's a real stunt. Yeah, stunt man. Stunt man, of course. It's not Roger Moore, but it's still real. So is this. This is real. This yes, is. Yes, it's a stunt man. Still, it's impressive, right? Even for a stunt man. When this was in cinema, they all stood up applauding. Even Prince Charles, he stood up and he applauded. This, this is one of the best openings in Bond history. <laughs> what did you think of that stun though? It's impressive, impressive. Right? The ski almost went through the yes. parachute it, and they did it in one take basically. It almost went wrong. You know what I think? When I go to London, hopefully this year, I want to meet up with a bunch of Bond fans and then sing this in a karaoke bar with them ah. drunk. Nobody does it oh, that would be amazing. You know, with all the Bond fans on a podium. But there's like a nicer song, right, than this one. This is classic Bond. Nobody does it better than Bond. Will you sing along with us too, then, if we're all drunk? <laughs> no, I will film you. <laughs> I regret to inform you, Major, that Agent Sergei Barzov has been killed. I should very much like to meet whoever was responsible for his death. This ending is him and her in bed. I know for sure. Wow, well, that's really hard to predict. <laughs> it's about what happens in between. <laughs> I, I think it has charm, these old buttons and stuff. 
You were going to look t through the lens of the 70s, though, right? Yeah. I believe it does. But how could they track them? It's impossible. No, it's quite simple, really. <laughs> yeah. Heat signatures. Where, in fact, did we get the tracing, Freddy? Cairo, diplomatic bag. Somebody got hold of the plans of that tracking system and is trying to sell them. He Both has the to go to uh, Cairo. Just like the Russian agents. Dr. Beckman and Professor Markovitz. Thank you. And that is his maid. <laughs> I have uh, these are the bad guys. Oh, she's gonna die. <laughs> With a shark or anything like that. Wow! How did I know that? That's a Bond film. <laughs> Most profound thanks. I don't want to step into that elevator. No. I will take the stairs. <laughs> what is he doing? He's in a submarine or. Oh, you'll see. He is, right? In a kind of submarine. Shandor? Yes, sir. This is his right hand. Jaws. It looks like from the Adams family. Yeah, like Frankenstein. <laughs> or Lurch, you mean. Yes. He's not going to talk uh, throughout the whole movie, right? Yep. Maybe you recognize this. And web, web this fingers. one goes poof. Cancel transfer of $20 million. <laughs> Shocker. Thank you. When one is in Egypt, one should delve deeply into its treasures. <laughs> he's now in a mosque? I don't think it's a mosque. Oh, he's at Aziz. So he's the he next morning is, he, is... Yeah, he wants to find a fakish. Uh, no! He kind of used her as a shield, too. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Fakish? Pyramids! What a helpful chap. <laughs> of the Nile. There's that guy from Adam's family. His name is Jaws. He kills people. Jaws. At the foot of his door. So faithful. So vigilant, I hope. He can break it. The Pharaoh. In his teeth. Commander James Bond, recruited to the British Secret Service from the Royal Navy. Many lady friends, but married only once. Wife killed. All right, you've made your <laughs> So it's mentioned. You had an appointment His... with Mr. Fakesh. Well, he won't be joining you. He won't be joining you. <laughs> That's that guy or that thief, right? Yep. That. Imitating Bond.
The van looks small compared to him. Right? Yeah. It's like a toy van to him. the keys from the car yep so she can't get away try the big one oh my god come on well this happens the oh, cylinder head on. gasket <laughs> see those See, she's not dumb. She knew it. She knew it was the cylinder hand gasket. Anything I can do to warm you up? You don't have to worry about me, Mr. Bond. I went on a survival course in Siberia. Of course she did. Of course. She's Russian. Yes, but not how they do it. Until she finds out that he killed her boyfriend, and that she will. You're not trying to take advantage of me, are you? Thought never crossed my mind. <laughs> Knew it! Never underestimate a woman. Mm. What do you think he's gonna do here? He's going to find her. Secret service. General Gogol is here. Yes, yeah, she is also here. Our respective governments have agreed to pool their resources to find out what happened. Oh, they're working together. We have entered a... With considerable ease, I might add. <laughs> Don't bother with it, then. It's useless. I examined it on the boat. Is that a bomb? <laughs> I want that ready for Ackman's tea party. I wish they still did this in the mm -hmm. modern day. All the cool gadgets. Stromberg has a marine research laboratory on Corsica, I believe. Well done, James. Actually, sir, it is in Sardinia. <laughs> it will help to make Anglo-Soviet cooperation a reality. It's cool, right? Dayton. I, I don't get why do they take the train down, though. They're in Egypt. They have to cross the Mediterranean Sea to go to Sardinia, next to Italy. Why the train? I don't know, I never get... Maybe they need to go to the coast first and then the boat or something. I must sleep. Yes. She has no expression in her face the whole movie. She's a bit... Yeah, I, I, I always really thought she was one of the best blonde girls, but she's a bit expressionless, I agree. Sometimes she's a bit wooden. But I like her character idea a lot more than the previous ones. Finally, another agent. I was expecting more of a scare from you. Oh, really? <laughs> but you, you were kind of scared. But how did he know that they were going by train and sitting in that, like... Compartment. Compartment. I don't know either. You see how big that hand is? It's yes. not even fake, it's really... It's like... Yeah. 
his face. Yeah, he's, but he's huge. This, this is also in real life. Yeah, he is. He's really that big. That's why he was usually casted for movies like this. Ah, uh, yes. Electricity. And again! And again! He's a lot bigger than the henchman in the previous movie, right? Mm -hmm. Remember the midget? Yeah. <laughs> he just goes, oh well. He just fell out of a train. He survives everything. The, the guy's a beast. Why don't you lie down and let me look at it? We could go to Sardinia as well. <laughs> Well, we're going to an Italian restaurant tonight anyway, yes. so it's closed. What kind of car is that? This is a Lotus Esprit. It's the Roger Moore Bond car. Okay. Connery had the DB5. Roger Moore gets the Lotus. Good morning, Major Boothroyd. Morning, Major. Boothroyd? Yeah, that's his real name. Q. Q, have I ever let you know? Frequently. <laughs> I hope they release this car in Lego as well. I will put it next to the DB5. <laughs> ah, yes. Mr. and Mrs. Sterling. Book from car. Different outfit than you wear as a receptionist, right? <laughs> she is a stewardess, but now she's currently working as a receptionist until she can fly again. You know, COVID and stuff. Uh, put her on the ground for a while. Mr. Sterling. What a handsome craft. Such lovely lines. She looks mad at her. She has to play his wife, right? Yeah. This way. Thank you. Now, uh, don't be a bother to Naomi, darling. I'll be back soon. Oh, by the way. <laughs> Did you see her bitch face when, <laughs> when he yes. said that? It's like, I'm gonna kill you later. <laughs> It's a dead body. The world beneath the sea. Well, you seem to be well equipped to repair that outside, Mr. Stromberg. But I still don't know why they want the line of the submarine. No, it hasn't been revealed yet. Of a recluse. I wish to conduct my life on my own terms. And in surrounding. Did you, man, you still notice the hands? It's like fish hands. It's like wept. Oh, the that guy. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. Yes, like... Oh, yes, I see. And there is death. That's so strange, because that uh, submarine of his is above water, but you see, it's all water. And his windows and when he was sitting and eating and it came up you saw all the windows yeah so either there it's sunk back or they're in a part of the submarine that's underwater i guess so it can't be because bond was going upstairs with the elevator oh, not yeah. downstairs so it must have sunken back Ooh, he's going into that elevator There he is. Two on the train. Let them get ashore. And then kill him. You're being very secretive. Where are we going? He could have killed him in a helicopter. Yes, like a... I also thought that. Or in the boat. Yeah. That's a rocket or something. <laughs> Look at how cool that is. The gun is like this big to, yes. to, to his hands. This is so strange. That car. Right, why? I don't know. I. This is typical 70s design. I'm used to that other car. The DB5? I think so, yeah. Can you swim? <gasps> there 
just uh, for the for the water, right? Yes. It's a submarine. Yes. How cool was that? Did you expect that? Mm -hmm. You did? Yes. I said it. No, well, no, I, I didn't say it. I no, said, I mean beforehand when it drove into the no, water. You, she, he said, like, can you swim? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. The first thing I noticed was there is no water coming in. I mean, it doesn't get more classic Bond than this. <laughs> Of course, they knew! I love the music in this movie. <gasps> and another one! How did you know about that? I stole the blueprints of this car two years ago. <laughs> but why was she surprised when they went into the water? She was like, oh, it's a submarine. And now it's like, yeah, I saw the blueprints. Well, she has to act, right? She's still Russian. Oh, I never heard that explanation. <laughs> Austria and I bought it in Berngarten. When was this? About three weeks ago, wasn't it? Ooh, now she knows. Now she knows. Did you kill him? Yes, he did. He's... The answer to the question is yes. I did kill him. Then, when this mission is over, I will kill you. <laughs> yeah. Look at his face. <laughs> She's not interested anymore. <laughs> uh, Major, you're most welcome to use the shower in my quarters. You do not have to show me any special favors, Commander. All the same, I think it might be better if I did. <laughs> Otherwise, she will be showering with the rest of the crew. Exactly. We're losing electrical frequency. This was also happening in the beginning. There's like in the space shuttle in space, remember mm -hmm. that, that, he, that ate it? It's kind of similar. Do you remember the, mm -hmm. the funny cards you mentioned in You Only Live Twice? It's very similar. Oh, sorry. She has to wear a hat. I still don't understand what they want. Yeah, here you'll find out. I think. I like it better that it's not revealed immediately. Like in Young Live Twice, we knew from the beginning, and we were waiting until Bond found the volcano. I intend to change the face of history. By destroying the world? By creating a world. A new and beautiful world beneath the sea. So he wants to blow up New York and Moscow, but the rest of the world not? going to use their submarines against them. Yeah. Huh. No expression in her face. Did you see that? Yeah. She's like, kind of that... like the one from Twilight. <laughs> but I like her though. She's a great Bond girl. It's in the same... Just like Yanni Live Twice. Yes. Remember when they released the astronauts? So the Russians, the UK and the USA are working together now. Yeah, all the Marines versus um, Stromberg's men. Mm -hmm. Conveniently they are dressed in blue and the others in red, of course, so we can separate them. This is amazing. This... No. 
nothing. We'll never get through it. This gets to the armory. What do you reckon to find there? A nuclear missile. A nuke. <laughs> hey, wait! A nuke. I mustn't touch it with any part of the detonator. What happens if you do? It'll go off. <laughs> the nuke. <laughs> That's the camera. Right. He's going onto the camera. Yep. They can't see him because no. he's on top of the camera. Yep. <laughs> oh, he's too close. Mm hmm. He's going to fall himself in the water. Oh no! <laughs> it worked! Yep, now they can go through. Take the position of the first submarine and pass it on to the second as a target. And vice versa? Exactly. It's just like a game. Yeah, how suspense an old computer can be. Other. Yep. Now you have another problem. Oh, oh they're going to a ship. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Explosions, at least in the sea. Yeah. So only a couple of million fish will die, but not humans. <laughs> Who's doing that? Get those lights clear. Come on. All the all of the explosions have caused the ship to explode. Match bearings and shoot. To whom? They have to get out of the hatch. Oh. <laughs> so, three teams in one submarine? Basically, yeah. The other two were stolen. <clears throat> There's one thing left. Uh, that girl. gonna save her and then he's going to die good evening mr. Bond I've been expecting you stay where you are I... no not the elevator he's not there <laughs> you did want me to drop in he's clever Berg. Yours too, Mr. Bond. Yours too. <laughs> Bam! He gave him four bullets. It's brutal. Especially for Roger Moore. Overkill. He's usually the funny Bond. In the frame, that's all. He's also still alive. Ooh, on his teeth. Ah, oh, last bullet. Where the shark is. Mm -hmm. And then that guy will come and they will fight and then that guy will fall in with the shark. Oh, my knees.
but it's literally Joss, which is a shark name, remember from the movie Joss? The shark doesn't stand a chance. It just bites the shark to death. How convenient. <laughs> yeah. The mission is over, Commander. Mm. In my country, Major, the condemned man is usually allowed a final request. S E X. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That that metal is not like heavy for him to swim. And he survived again. So do you expect him to return? <clears throat> They're never gonna know. No. <laughs> Tom, what do you think you're doing? Keeping the British hand up, sir. Nobody does. Okay. As good as you. Baby, you're the best. Baby, you're the best. So, that was The Spy Who Loved Me. And now I'm curious, did you like this more than The Man with the Golden Gun and Live and Let Die? What did you think? Mm, yes. Yeah, you liked it? A lot more than the others. Yes. Yes, finally! <laughs> so now I'm so curious. So let's just hear your overall thoughts before we get into the ranking. What, what did you think of the film? It was very special that uh, uh, England and Russia and the uh, uh, United States are wor working together. Right, right. Yeah. But she has no expression. Yeah. So we're going to get into her with the, the barn girl. So that definitely was on your mind, like her Barbara Box. Uh, yeah, expression. it was like Botox all the way. She didn't have Botox. No, I think, but, but it it looked like. Maybe, yeah. I can see your point. Anything else that you really liked about the film? What did you think of the action? You were hoping for more action, more mm -hmm. better Bond girls. What did you think? Poo, poo, poo. <laughs> the fighting, you mean, again. Yes. Yeah, that's the, the old movies. But you were going to look through it uh, through the lens mm -hmm. of the 70s. Yes. So. Uh, and uh, from the skiing in the beginning. Right, right. And also the car chase, maybe. Yes. And th with the lotus through the Italian mountains and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was cool. Um, yeah, I'm so far I'm happy you enjoyed it. But let's, uh, let's see what kind of stars you gave. Starting with Bond's performance, Roger Moore's third Bond film. What did you think of him this time? Four stars! Four stars! I think that's his best one yet for you, from Roger Moore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what did you think? He did a pretty good job as a real Bond. Right, I agree. Now you finally start to see him as like a real 007. I feel he's much more likable here than Man with the Golden Gun, where he was hitting uh, Scaramanga's girl and stuff. Mm -hmm. Here he's more charming, I feel. More the Roger Moore Bond that he becomes. Uh, anything else you want to add to him? No. Okay. Moving on to probably the subject you wanted to talk about. Uh, <laughs> the Bond girl Anya Omasova, played by Barbara Bach, Agent Triple X. Yeah. What did you think? Beautiful girl. No expression. Three yeah. stars. Three stars. I think this is a very fair assessment of her because I agree, like on paper. She's one of the best. It's like the first proper time a Bond has an equal in the, in the franchise, kind of. Um, and that's really fighting with him and, the, and has the same stakes. Um, but you're right, she's a bit expressionless, the actress herself. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, so you like the idea behind a Russian agent teaming up with Bond? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The one thing I find missing with her mm -hmm. is a Russian accent. She had a little bit. 
Yeah, it's not like Xenia on a top later where no, you can really... No, but no. Famke Janssen who plays uh, in Golden, I remember maybe mm -hmm. was it? Yes, I know. But um, three stars, we'll take that. We'll move on to the Bond villains of this movie. What did mm. you think? Three stars. Another three stars, okay. Yes. So we mainly had uh, Stromberg, the main villain, with the webbed fingers, and Jaws with the metal teeth. Yes. Talk about the villains. Um, the guy with the fingers? Well... <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, a bit I, standard maybe, not well, too I didn't mentioned. took him very seriously. Yeah. He only pushed buttons. Right, he's like a, he's like a Blofeld type of villain. Yeah, so the three stars mainly uh, comes from the guy with the teeth. Jaws, yeah. Jaws, so yeah. What he did you think of Jaws? Was he terrifying in this movie? Like the No, he was not terrifying, he was only big. Yeah. <laughs> I think there are some scenes, especially in Egypt, when uh, Fekish runs away from him and he locks the the um, mm -hmm. chain, and then he just slowly comes in and just bites the chain off and mm -hmm. enters the tomb mm -hmm. to come out, and just he doesn't come fast; he just walks slowly towards him. Yeah, there's the kind of creepy factor that really works. And then works. he fits into that car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, I, I agree. And and the cool thing about Jaws is he survives everything. Like he stones dropping yes, onto everything. him. Everything. Uh, a shark. If he fell out of a train, he survives everything. Yeah. Um, do you expect Jaws because he survived the end of the film? He was swimming ashore. I think so. I think he's coming back in the next movie. The next movie. Yes. So we're gonna see if Jaws returns uh, in the next movie, according to Lewis. He yeah. obviously has no clue yet. So we'll see what happens uh, then. Yeah. Jaws was uh, looking like that guy from Adam's family. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I the find. That I, I agree. Saw him, it's like Lurch. Yeah, I said to you, oh, he's that guy from Adam's he family. He isn't, but he looks. I I see your point. <laughs> um, moving on to the locations in the Spy Who Loves mm -hmm. Me. What did you think? Four stars. Four stars are not a big ranking. Uh, big rating. So, uh, the locations, what did you think? Um, it was in Italy and in Egypt and underwater. Right. So, three things I've never been. You ne you've been in Italy? Yes, but only like uh, dropping off passengers. No, you've been to Venice. Oh, yes. Oh, I forgot that one. <laughs> but this wasn't Venice, so I can no. see uh, this was Sardinia. Um, yeah, what, what did you like the most about the locations? Uh, the pyramids. Right, very exotic, I agree. Um, yeah, I love the setting of this film too, it's, um, it's well made. And the fish. Yeah. Yeah, and, and also, um, of course, a lot of the underwater scenes. Were, were, were you yes, but I, I, I told you in the, uh, throughout the movie, with the fish and the water you see in the glass mm -hmm. and it doesn't add up well he was standing there in that layer from the bad guy and you saw outside oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, only water with fish yeah the, the layer but was uh, over the water the boat entered and then he entered and they were underwater yes but so he I've, went up with yeah, the elevator i think the part uh, underwater it might be all the way down, who knows really, it's um... And you... he came on water inside. Yeah, and then he went so up. He went up, yeah. so... And then they were underwater. Up. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's true, the geography of the villain lair isn't necessarily uh, uh, known to us, but I think it's iconic, this is a memorable film. You know, you're, you're gonna, when you look back at the franchise, this is one of the ones that when I, I'm going to tell you, oh, the underwater car, you're going to be, oh yeah, that yes, one. Yes, that was pretty awesome. Yeah. That, I'm going to tell you it uh, at enjoyment. Okay, so uh, moving on then. But first, we have the story of this film. What did you think? Three stars. Three stars. Yes. Talk about what you liked about the story or didn't like. I didn't like that I didn't know where 
the bad guys would fight for. Yeah, that was all the that was revealed was all, all the way, way at the end. So yeah, he wanted an underwater world and stuff. Probably, I still don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I I know that he wanted to bomb the New York and Moscow and then the whole world, I think. But other than the villain scheme, what about the rest of the, the plot? Like Bond teaming up with yes. a Russian agent yeah, and that's why working against stars. each other. Right. And that they were like against each other in the beginning. Yeah. And then they worked together and then she found out that he killed her boyfriend and then she was against him again. And then they made up. Well, she, he did save her life, of course, so... Well, she did also. Right. Yeah, they saved each other a few times. So, uh, yeah, interesting dynamic between them. Uh, I agree, I really like the story to this. It's actually, you know, You Only Live Twice recycled, but I think done better, in my opinion. Especially the climax is more interesting than... I love the volcano in You Only Live Twice and the Japanese setting, but this mm -hmm. is even better, I think. Maybe because of the car and stuff. Oh, it's... the car! Yeah. It's a really strange car. The Lotus? Yeah. I can't... Yeah. I, I, find I don't it very, like the car. You don't? No. Oh well, can't win them all. No, um, only the other car. Oh. The Aston Martin. Uh, Maybe it's because, you know, Lyrit has never associated anything else but an Aston Martin with Bond. Well, maybe BMW because you saw the Brosnan movies. Oh, yes. But you never associated Lotus with Bond, of course. I never saw this car before. No. <laughs> no, it's... Uh, it, it, I'll show you one. The, there's like car shows and they always show like this is probably the second most iconic Bond car uh, in the series. But this car... Can swim underwater. Yeah, DB5 can't do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> so no, it's uh, it's awesome. So um, that leaves us to our final rating, which was what you wanted to talk about: the enjoyment. Three stars. Three stars. Okay. So finally, you uh, you seem to have really enjoyed this film. Uh yes, uh, I liked the underwater scenes with the car. And, um, well, in the train, I didn't like, I was shook that he was in the closet. <laughs> yeah, but I was, I was hoping when, when he came out of the cabinet that Lyrid would be like, <gasps> but she was like, and that was it. Just, just her eyes. <laughs> That's the best scare I can get out of her. I'm sorry. No, no, no it's fine. <laughs> and what else? Um, I think the train scene is, is only there just because of an excuse to fight, to have Bond fight in a train again. Yes, but it's very weird because they uh, go by train... Uh, to an island? From Egypt to an island yeah. in Italy. Yeah. So it has to be underwater. Yeah, my, my conclusion is they went in a train from Cairo to the coast and then from there they took a boat off screen that we didn't see. So the, bo so the train was probably in um, Egypt still. Yeah. But, oh well. It doesn't need to be explained, everything. Um, but it flowed nicely. Anything yeah. else you really enjoyed about this film or didn't? Her driving is so bad. You, th you thought so? In the van, in the, you mean? In the car, yes. But as he was trying to shake off Josh. Yeah, but that's so stupid because you're in the middle of nowhere and you want to escape that guy. Just go in your one and just guess and just drive away and then in your two and then in your three and then in your five. Right. See, she has her driver's license for one year now, so obviously she knows better than a KGB agent, so... <laughs> no, but she is like fighting no, I'm just with kidding. that I'm guy just, I'm just with your you. car. Yeah. And no wonder that that car was like broken. Yeah, he, he could hold the fan like it was a toy car. Yes. The guy. Yeah. That's a little bit stupid of her, because she knew that he was like that strong and with his teeth and everything. Yeah. Just go away from him. Yeah, you would have just ran off and... Yeah. 
Okay, <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> it's um, very, uh, how do you call that? Uh, I never saw a movie before that the KGB is working together with the secret service of the... Uh, of a, uh, MI6. MI6. Yeah. I never saw a movie before. No, detente they, they call that. It's like peace between East and West. Yes. Which is what we need now in the real world as well, detente, <laughs> I think. So, that leaves your total score of The Spy Who Loved Me to three and a half stars. Finally, a decent score again after a long streak of not so good scores so. for you. Which I find fair because I'm not the biggest fan of Diamonds and Live and Die either. So, next time we will be watching 007 Moonraker um, and I'm very curious what you will think of Moonraker. Roger with Moore him. will with return for the fourth time him. and Lyrid's prediction is that Jaws might be in Moonraker as well. We're gonna have to wait and see if that's the case. Uh, obviously we know whether or not that is true, but you'll find out then in the next episode. Hope you once again enjoyed and see you guys in the next movie reaction. Bye guys! Bye!